Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name is Cool Ninja Guy. Today I will be showing you guys my render settings for Adobe After Effects. Um, this will be how to get the best quality and the lowest file size possible. And I think um, the file format lets you have it playable on both Mac and PC. Um, so what you're going to want to do is once you have a final video, uh, I do have my final video right here. It's the classical dirt edit. Link will be in the description. What you what you want to do before you even start anything is um, hold down Shift, uh, click Edit, and that will be just the After Effects thing on Mac. Go to Preferences and General. You need to hold Shift so you can get this Secret tab, and you, this will be unchecked. It will be like that for you. What you want to do, it, it will say this. It will say zero. So you'll click Disable Layer Cache, purge every two frames per movie, and then Ignore Sequence Rendering Errors, Danger. Um, you're going to hit OK, and Next. That will make your... Um, renders much much faster and then what else you want to do is once you have that um, you're just going to find your final comp uh, go composition add to render queue make sure you click on it in your project media um, make sure render settings are on best best quality full resolution um, and that's all you really want yes use comps frame rate so make sure that um, if I render this at 59.94 it will stay at 59.94 that way if you're importing into any other programs you won't lose any frames um, if you want a Twixter or such, but um, so you'll have best settings. Um, your output module, you, I think it's standard. It's on uh, AVI, I want to say, or no, I think it's on lossless. But what you're gonna want to do, um, just go right to the top and click uh, H.262. Uh, it says this is what I already have, but if you're gonna want to click on it and uh, go into it more, um, basically it will render your video and your audio. But you're gonna want to hit format options. Um, I keep target bitrate, I keep all this the same, uh, video, profile main, level 5.1, audio, you want to set your bitrate to 192, AAC codec, auto quality high, so that way it stays the same, and multiplexer, see so you want MP4, that's the, um, the, um, that's the format that is available on Mac and PC, if I remember correctly, and it has a very low file size compared to other things like WMVs, um, and so basically make sure you have audio output checked, video output checked, hit OK. It will say custom, but um, basically if you use the uh, regular, just go straight to H.264, it will be the exact same thing you need. And then when it says output to, you're going to want to click that, navigate to the folder you want, which I happen to already have my folder, but I'll just show you guys. Go to videos, uh, finish videos, edits or montages, and I'm going to name this Cinematic Dirt. And then I hit save. And it, wait, did I put the T? No, I didn't. Dirt. There we go. All right. So now I have the T. I would hit render right now, but it's gonna take like probably two hours for this to render, because um, I do not have a good GPU processor and all that stuff. But um, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if it helped you out, please hit the like button below, subscribe button up top. I upload tutorials every other Tuesday of the week, because it's Tutorial Tuesdays here on my channel. You can uh, recommend any. Um, editing tutorial. I also do some Cinema 4D um, if you guys would want. Um, I did also done render settings for uh, Sony Vegas. You see right there. Um, recommend me any effect really. You can even recommend some more effects from the Classical Dirt Edit um, if you want to see anything else. So thank you guys for watching. My name is Cool Ninja Guy. I'm out. Adios.